Alistair, we were talking off camera about uh, your love of old school professional wrestling, WWE back in the day. Uh, when we think about Pride, Pride kind of had that pro wrestling element. Is mixed martial arts missing that? Can we see more of that, that pro wrestling approach for MMA all before you get inside of the cage? It's the hyped up, the pageantry, and then of course when the cage door closes, you guys do your thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think UFC uh, has found their way in, in, in uh, promoting and performing, uh, doing their events. I don't know if, if, if Pride is the way to go. Uh, from what I understand, Dana White is, uh, has done a lot of research through trial and error as well to see what is the best format. And I think that um, UFC is what it is because of that. Is, is there a line? Because we, we look at a lot of people that consume this sport. It is sport, but it's also entertainment. Well, what is the line for you as an athlete? What do you mean? You're trying to win fights, but you're also trying to entertain the crowd as well. Well, you're trying to win fights, and then, of course, for your techniques, you need to make sure that these techniques are effective. But, and if they're, I mean, everything that is effective is, is, is going to be cool after a while. Right? After a while, it's going to be straight away cool. So it's all about effectivity. If you're effective, you're going to go up, and if you're not effective, then you're yeah, in trouble. You seem to have a very casual approach. Anytime we've seen you at media days, uh, is it important for you to just remain calm? At all times. Mm, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, uh, you know, I'm in, I'm in recovery mode. The, 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 the Big Bang is going to be Saturday. I, I have to be energized and hyped up. Then now I can just be calm. So that's exactly what we're, we're just being chill. What have you learned? You learned about yourself. Too hot to handle. Pride, K1, Strike Force, UFC, always fighting at the highest level. Have you learned anything about yourself that you didn't know before? I learned a great deal about myself, and um, it was kind of funny. Always growing up. <laughs> You know, I always pondered that, okay, whatever I did. But I always had a little voice in my mind that said, uh, always just keep, keep training, get, keep getting better, and, and you'll be fine. And I just followed my, my intuition, followed my heart, and ended up fighting at all these different promotions, always trained, learned a great deal about myself. Um, there's so much to learn about yourself, right? About nutrition, about uh, growth, about training, what do you like, what do you not like? So that has all been due to my sport. Is, is it, when you go into a fighting situ situation, you're fighting Mark Hunt on Saturday night, is there an actual strategy or do you just try to be Alistair Overeem, the guy with a ton of experience, you faced all the best guys in the world, you know what works inside of a fight, do you slowly try to play your game? You've got to play your own game, but there, there has to be a game uh, that's there. You've got to have some kind of a strategy. So that's, uh, yeah, we definitely have a strategy. We have actually multiple strategies. Uh, wherever we think the fight may go, we're, yeah, we're going to be uh, prepared. Is that what it comes down to in this fight? Do you, do you believe that Mark Hunt is just going to give you the fight that a lot of people are anticipating, a, a stand-up MMA fight where a lot of people believe that you have a bunch of different paths? where you could take this fight. Different, uh, different, uh, different possibilities because of course it is he has a plan, I have a plan and then it is okay who can impose his will, his plan on the other. As a martial artist, as a, as a creator, as somebody that goes out to try to get new experiences, you hoping that Mark Hunt can draw a new experience out for you that you can leave the cage going wow I never experienced that before. Well um, I think victory is the most important thing. And when you envision this fight how, how do you how do you imagine things going down? Um, it's going to be action-packed, that's one thing for sure. Uh, obviously, Mark Hunt has a good reputation of winning his, uh, his rematches. Um, I have a good reputation as well of winning rematches. So it's, it's going to be an action-packed fight. I mean, this is not going to be a fight that's going to go to the, to the judges or uh, slow. How have you grown as, as a martial artist, as a fighter, as a man, say, over the last number of years? Are you constantly getting better? Is that the goal, or is it to, we've had a chance to talk to so many? We're getting better all the time. We're getting more mature all the time. We're making less and less mistakes, and I'm very happy with the progress. What does that mean, mature? Well, mature uh, life decisions, the people that I surround myself with, the people that I deliberately not surround myself with. Um, it's all going very well. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm on a roll, and I'm very happy about it. Are you critical, like, when you have a, a stumble in, in a fight, are you overly critical about yourself? Because clearly you seem like a guy that's always trying to be the best, to execute the tech. You've you got to always be critical, but you've got to always also be optimistic. You've got to be uh, upbeat. Because if, if you're too serious and too critical, it's not going to work, right? You've got you to enjoy what you're doing, and you've got to be optimistic. Uh, one of the things uh, the world wants to talk about, uh, the re return of George St. Pierre taking on Michael Bisping. Uh, I, I know there's a lot of people out there that uh, complain that uh, it's unfair, somebody doesn't deserve this fight, but isn't the bigger picture a guy like George St. Pierre has established his legacy, done what he's done at 170 pounds, and he deserves to go up and challenge a decorated guy like Bisping? I think it's more than logical, and <coughs> of course it's not going to be nice for Joe Romero, because 
he's shown to be a tremendous athlete. Uh, the way he's winning his fights, he's running for his opponents, uh, tremendous physique. I'm happy he's two weight classes now. <laughs> but um, um, uh, I think it's without a doubt. I mean, GSP is undefeated as champion. So I've, it's logical he's coming in and he's going to fight for the championship. I mean, the man is, um, is um, I mean, could, could you say a legend? I think he is. He's one of the legend names. So it's all good. It's all good to me.